I just wish you understood that it's not Don't my choice to work over. Don't you worry, Mr. Clear. We'll keep this place running like clockwork. I won't regret a thing. How did you manage to get to Tony DiRazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. Tony, I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Five, six years? Five years, three months, and 18 days. Oh, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, eventually it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donna, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting the hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. Lincoln had a couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. Get in. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. <laughs>
Pull on in, Dominic. Park anywhere. It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men, and they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. Durazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign, it was based on promises about those lots downtown. Well documented donations. Right now? Okay. okay. Okay, how about this one? I know this son of a bitch has been dead since 64. Finally. But he's dead. And he old. Maybe somebody else owed him. Don't matter. You never clear the ledger with Mr. Durazio. File it. start date. Mr. Durazio is going to worry about the start date. You... No, you make sure the invoices are square. The man's going to...
You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Idiot! <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. <laughs> War on the streets of our fair city is a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up, and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up, and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal, and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Getting up here, but Lever's gonna be a different story. Yeah, just come on out now. How you doing, hon? <clears throat> Ma'am, sorry. Watch this. Hands off. How you doing, ma'am? Sup? Out of the uh, way. Code 3 Suspicious person on foot. Responding unit investigating. Hey there, come on over and sit. Tony DeRazio just kissed the pavement outside the Royal Hotel. 
downtown is ours. Kavar Construction and the sham work sites, the Imperial, and all the limp dicks who owe the mob money, we own it all. They're just like you, Ash Lincoln. All the action in the district is running smooth and the money's coming. Now all I need is the official word and we'll settle in permanently. Everybody's got their play, brother. But the truth is that I'm the one you called on to run the last territory. So all that racket shit aside, you know I can handle the day-to-day -day better than anybody else here. Maybe I missed the call or something, but I didn't even know you were working that part of the city. Think long and hard about this. Give me the keys to the kingdom, partner. You give this to me, my con is gonna shit himself. I get it. You gotta consider all your options. Well, this is all said and done. Think about who you want standing at your back. This one's all you, Bert. <laughs> Fucking hell. You're smarter than your goddamn luck, lad. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna call this if no one else will. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. Thank you. 